sweet science. In today's video, we'll be looking at some mouth watering experiments. Let's go. Look closely. Look at this water droplet. See the way it drops. First of all, it's as if it's filling a balloon. As if you're pouring water into a balloon. Watch it carefully and look at the surface. The surface is stretching like an elastic skin. It's stretching as if the surface is an elastic skin. Let's go over to another experiment. Let's go over to another experiment. We have this glass filled to the brim. We have this glass cup filled to the brim. Now we'll be adding pins as we add. You expect the water to pour out, but it's not going to happen. We continue adding the pins. We continue, we can add different pins, can continue to drop the pins, and the water will not pour out. We continue until we are satisfied, and as we add, you notice the surface of this water. The surface we start curving. Instead of pouring out, the surface will be curving, making a convex, making it to become a convex surface and this is due to the cohesive forces the cohesive forces between the molecules of this water they cling to each other it, it makes them to cling to each other the cohesive force we continue adding we put more pins we add more as we add Watch the surface. We drop gently. Continue dropping them gently so that the surface will keep rising. Instead of pouring out, it will keep rising. You have more pins to pour. We keep putting more pins. Look at the surface. You can see it. Check the surface now. You can see the surface is now looking like an elastic skin. And then look at the convex nature of the surface. You can actually do this using water dropper or pipette. You can use it, use water dropper or pipette. If you don't have pins to use around you, you use water dropper or pipette. You can be dropping water small, 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 small. As you're dropping water small, small, you get the convex surface and then you get the surface behaving like an elastic skin. We now go to another one. Another experiment, we are not yet done. When we treated density, we said that lesser objects will actually sink in liquid, while the less dense object will float. But here we are going to see something. Razor blade. Razor blade is actually denser than water. And then when you put razor blade in water, it sinks. And again, we now see that the same razor blade that sinks will also float in water. Let's see it. We see the razor blade floating on water, while another razor blade is also sinking. So how do we explain this? Let's go to the board and then we get to know what's happening here. Filled with liquid, we have, so 
when the molecule here the molecule here they are experiencing forces from all sides the other molecules are pulling them from all sides but the molecules near or on the surface of water you notice what is happening the interior molecules will only be the ones pulling them the ones pulling them from inside the interior molecules will be the ones pulling them down from inside making this surface to be under strain or tension making this surface to be under strain or tension thereby this surface that is under strain or tension is not able to hold on the razor blade is able to hold on to the razor blade the razor blade will not sink because of this tension on the surface of the liquid of water or any liquid now the next thing is this what is then surface tension surface tension is the force acting along the surface of the liquid making the leather to behave like an elastic skin surface tension is given as half four times force all over the length and surface tension is force over 2L the unit SI unit is Newton per meter the question we are now asking ourselves is this what reduces surface tension what reduces surface tension now let's see what we have in here we have we want to make porridge here yeah? in making our porridge here yeah? we add our yam then we put our water we put our water we put our salt we put the salt to taste then we put seasoning powder that one is if you like now we have our curry we also have our baby super spice we have our crayfish and pepper already blended we blend them and then we add okay we now measure out our oil we measure out our oil as you can see the oil you put the oil as you can see right now no matter how you turn it the oil will still float the ingredients all of them they are all on their own now you notice that they're floating the oil is floating number one because it's less dense than water and again the surface tension will not allow it to mix intimately with the water but to reduce this surface tension and make it to mix intimately with water we will add the heat after putting our fish again i like adding my opazi leaf we add the opazi leaf there to make it taste good now we are ready to cook we apply it and see what will happen when we apply it we carry it and We allow it to be cooking. While it's cooking, we look at another thing that can reduce the surface tension.
something else that when you add to water, the surface tension will reduce. Now, we are still looking at what reduces surface tension. Here you see our razor blade still floating on this water. Come on the gas for me. We will on it and apply heat to it. We will apply heat to it and see what will happen. Let's adjust. Oh, adjust it and have a fine flame. Let's just be washing it and see what will happen to it. The next one to look at what reduces surface tension. Here we have ethanol. Here we have ethanol. Ethanol, we place this razor is sinking. No matter how we place the blade gently it will sink telling you that ethanol also reduces surface tension this is in the family of alcohol and this is 99 percent this is the raw ethanol not mixed with anything we want to get out our it's not getting so we need our razor back the next one in what reduces surface tension. Here we have our detergent. We have the liquid detergent. This is our own made here in our lab. Then we have the tablet soap and then we have detergent. Now we let's pour more of this into this water. Let's pour more of it into this water and then we stir. When you stir, let's see. Ordinarily, razor can float, but because of surface tension, razor, ordinarily, because of surface tension, razor can float. But now we have added this, our detergent, our liquid soap. Let's see what will happen. You see it sinking. It cannot float again because the liquid soap has already reduced the surface tension. Even if it, if, even if it wants to float, just a little, it will sink. Then the next one. Here we have set of camphor and water. See our camphor? We can still put more. We put more. You see how camphor can reduce surface tension. Camphor also can also reduce surface tension. We clean this. Then we clean. We try to let it. You see it? It's sinking. It's not floating. It's not going to float. So we have a proof here that camphor also reduces surface tension. See it sinking. It's not floating. So let's go and check our food and see what's our our food. Assumptions, scientific porridge yam is ready you can now see the concentration you can see the color the oil the palm oil is no longer floating everything here mixed up properly and then we can dish out you can actually dish out let's use let me dish out for my hungry guys to test. I think I have hungry lions here that cannot wait to have a feel. What actually happened is this. The heat now increased the temperature of the content and 
thereby reducing the surface tension. So another thing that reduces the surface tension of a liquid is temperature. Temperature. And then we look at here, we now see that the razor blade is also on the bottom of the beaker. See it is say it is on the bottom of the beaker. So temperature reduces the surface tension, making it not to float again and making it to sink. So that's it. Now we come to eat our sumptuous meal. Wait. Okay, now we can take we taste. Hmm. <laughs> And I'll take it to my homemade juice.